Hello, and welcome back to The Sun at Night. It's been a very long time since I played, and I've done some things in between the play sessions. I've gone back once more and replayed pretty much most of the uh, castle level. I did so many things. I have some notes. I'll see if I can remember all of it. So, first of all, I realized just on my own, basically, that maybe those two quests that I hadn't completed in the previous... Also, by the way, this is probably going to be a long intro, so I don't know if you care about this. I don't even care. You, I don't. I was going to say I'll put a thing, an annotation, to skip it, but no, I'm not going to, because why? No one cares. If ah, just skip this episode if you if you're bored. I don't even know why are you watching this. Back up, rewind. All right, so those two quests. There was one about codes and one about confronting Wiswanathan, and it seems like I completed both from what I can gather. So, I actually had them completed, it's just that they weren't completable in the previous level. You had to get to this level to complete them, and I probably haven't completed the Wiswanathan one yet, even though it's not in this. I mean, it's it's kind of... Yeah, it's not really like saying that we know that he's being pursued or whatever. I don't know. Um, what else? What else? The, uh, the codes? That's kind of interesting. So I replayed most of this and uh, I... Oh, by the way, quick mention. I was redoing the entire, entire level. I was checking every single screen in the castle. Everything. Every book, every paper, everything, even back in the jungle, even in the graveyard, even in everything. I did everything you possibly can do one more time, thoroughly, methodically, and I could not find anything else. But I found one thing that I had missed, and that is in the catacombs there was another one of those messages, the encryption messages, and that gave me an achievement called something or other, I'm not going to look it up now, which is basically find all of the encrypted messages and the means of decrypting them. Which I don't know that I've found, I don't know how to decrypt them, ah, decrypt them, De decrypt, whatever, let's go with it. So I remember something about some people talking about the, also I feel like the audio is really poor, one moment. Maybe it's not, maybe it's just me speaking poorly. Anyways, I remember something about encryption and talking about that, but I don't remember actually finding out how to decrypt it. So, I don't know, I don't think I really care. I guess maybe, I mean, I would look it up, but no one cares about this game at all, so there is no information about that in the game, as far as I can tell, or about the game online, so guess it'll be a mystery for even me. Or maybe I'll do it sometime down the line. Probably not, though. Um, so, what else? What else? Right, the, uh, the codes turned out I, I replayed also from the very start. I loaded an early backup, redid all the catacombs, redid all the castle, just to, like, do the very, very basics and see if that had an effect on anything. I don't know why I did it, but I did. And it turns out that the, uh, I found both the things that gave me the confront with Swanathan and the thing about, uh, the codes. And another thing to know is that there was no radio conversation. There was no with Swanathan in the castle. I just dreamt that up, I suppose. I thought I had talked to him on a phone or on a radio. I hadn't, so that's a thing. But it turns out when I killed the boss and went into the next level, I, there was a, uh, a difference in the dialogue, because I tried to not get the codes, there was no line that said, if you go back and check in that cutscene, it says, like, inputting or something, entering, enter docking sequence code, something about that, and that didn't happen, because I didn't have the codes, so that's obviously something that changed, I don't know what happened, maybe just less enemies, uh, enemies spawned or something like that. I don't know, but it does seem like I actually did complete everything in that previous 
previous area, so that's good for my completionist's sake, I suppose, but it's... I still think it's kind of stupid to have a questing system that says you haven't completed this, go find it, and then you can't complete it until you actually leave the, the area, the level, and go into the next level where it doesn't still say that you haven't completed it. I don't even know, I don't understand. Also, the conversation with Wiswa Nathan did not change depending on if I knew that they were tracking him or not. That didn't seem to make any difference. So, anything else? Let's see, what else? Oh right, just a quick thing. In the library there was like those four books where it was like a blue book and oh, this book is fake! And I didn't understand what the hell was, what, what the hell that was about, but apparently that was a hidden switch to unlock a door that I just missed or maybe didn't eat that, didn't have on camera or something. I don't know, but that was just a little thing. And what else? What else? Um... Yeah, no, no radio, I'm checking my notes here. No radio, there was no radio in the entire castle. Uh, the alarm in the castle, there was an alarm that I just didn't understand what was happening and said, the alarm is on. Apparently, something caused that to turn on, and when you do, a lot more enemies spawn. So I guess I went through the game or that level with a bunch more enemies for without realizing, so if you don't turn that on, or if you don't let the enemies turn it on or something, I don't know, then you have an easier time or something like that. And finally, I tried hacking the mines in the analyst's office and then going to the the boss, but there were no mines in the boss, so either it's like a two-parter where you have to hack both the analyst one and the secret one, or the analyst one is just completely worthless and again copy-pasted for no reason. So there we go, there's gonna be some cutting in that because I suck at intros and suck at talking for extended periods of time, but let's actually do some stuff, and I'm a little bit more energetic today. I actually meant to record this yesterday, but I had something to eat at about this time, it's 2 a.m. now, which is fine, and around 2 a.m. or 1, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. something, I decided to have something to eat, and a beer, why not? And then that gave me hiccups. And I figured, okay, I'll just wait until the hiccups are over, because it's kind of annoying to record with hiccups. I had hiccups for like four hours. I'm not even kidding. At least three or four hours. It was ridiculous. So then it was like 5 a.m. and I just figured, okay, I'm just gonna go to bed then, I guess. Even though this is kind of... I need to get this up pretty quickly to keep on my schedule. So we'll just get into it now and hopefully hopefully, hopefully get some stuff done, and I, yeah, as I said, I'm a little bit more energetic, so maybe I won't be as, as bored with everything and hating everything today. Also, this is nice because there's a little guy, the bot, apparently respawns every time you load here or get back in. He's gonna start harassing you, so that's, oh, sorry about the creaking table. He's gonna harass you, so that's cool. Also, I didn't really read this, so this says there should be a way to view the layout of the ship and plan out your subterfuge. So we should probably just do this before I do the Wiswa Nathan thing, just because that should give us some map data, maybe, or something like that. So yeah, this tells us to just completely reverse and go all the way back to the start. So I'm just gonna do that, I think. Also, I turned on this just so... Also, 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 let's turn down the brightness a bit, because this area seems to be pretty much just white. So, it was kind of harmful to your eyeballs to have it that bright. And I turned on this because I will be following the quest markers for a bit, but apparently I did find everything in the previous level, so I think I can be a bit more completionist and searching and not going where I'm supposed to go, but it seems like generally you can complete everything, and then go around finding all the side quests before the boss or something. So that's probably fine. And let's actually do something after 10 minutes, 11 minutes of fucking talking. So let's let's do it. Sorry about that. Actually, not really, because yeah, I had a lot of things needed to be said or that needed to be said. And now they have been said. So there's going to be a guy here. Hold on. I want to... Oh, click outside the window. I want to kill that guy. I pressed 4! There we go. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Sometimes the uh, 
the thing just doesn't respond and you don't actually switch weapons. I feel like my audio is a bit low, but that's probably a good thing, because otherwise it's just going to be really loud. Alright, so let's go back all the way, all the way here, all the way down here, all the way over here. Let's do everything over again. Oh, yep, okay, this is the, uh, yeah, I haven't been in there, so I shouldn't go in there. Oh, inspect. Sign. Caution, long drop, no elevator. I see, so you can't go back up if you don't have the wall jump, but you do, because you're not a fucking moron, and you should have those movement upgrades. I don't even know. Let's head in here. And all the way back. We're going all the way back. Okay, this is something new, I think. Is it? Maybe? I think this is new. Is it? Is it new? I think this is... No, this is... No. No, this is not new. Okay, well, let's keep going then. Ignore those guys. Wait, is... Have I been here? I don't feel like I've been here. No, I have been here. God, I don't even remember. I was running so quickly through everything last time. Alright, and down here. And over... Oh, save point. Sure, let's do that. Oops, that's not the right way. And we're finally here. Alright, so now I have to go here, and now it's uncharted territories from here on. More of these really beautiful cables that are so awesome and not at all completely cluttered and annoying to look at. What is down there? I'm gonna drop down. I see. What is this? What is that? Nothing? It's just a, haha, got you, made you look, kind of thing. Okay. Thanks, game. No, no. Damn it. Also, apparently elevators are one-hit kills, so don't get trapped underneath one. And something up here. I'm gonna check that out. Nano battery! Alright, just the guy who dropped the battery. I think that's our third one, so now I can get... No, that's our first one. Okay, I already got a power-up. Oh, this actually looks kinda nice. What is this? Circuits? Fuses? I don't even know. Let's head in here and just follow the thing. Oh god, what? Okay, I'm gonna laser this guy, because... What? The laser has range! Come on, I thought the laser was, like, infinite, because it's a laser. Oh, that's more laser ammo, so that's nice. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. So, like, what's even the point of really using the laser? I don't even know. Shotgun ammo. I'm gonna use the shotgun instead, then. Here we go. Nano battery guy up there. How do you... How do you normally get up here? Oh, that's... Yeah, that's fucking bullshit as well. You can't get up here unless you come through one of these, but you can't... You'll probably kill this guy, and he will drop the nano battery, and then if you leave, you're out of luck. You don't get a nano battery. That's just kind of mean and annoying. God damn it, already things are starting to look annoying with this game again. Alright, it would be no tremendous task to flip the large on switch located on either on the side of the terminal. Sure. Loading. Diagnostic analy an analysis, sorry. Database Chief Starshina Oserov or something. Would you like to recover uh, the unsaved message last modified? I would. I'm telling you, Sergey, not all of this data is ending up in the same place. I mean, it's all going where it's supposed to, but the information is also very quietly being duplicated and sent off-site. I would never have noticed it. Noticed it. Had the folks up in the conning tower not ordered so many diagnostic requests for their survey equipment over the last few weeks. Performing identical tasks daily allowed me to spot the anomaly. I haven't been able to figure out exactly where the duplicate data is being sent before the local copy is destroyed, but it's definitely not going anywhere on this boat. Someone is mining our in internal communications. I've also discovered that huge chunks of the boat's systems haven't received their automated diagnostic scans at the appropriate intervals. Something disabled the failsafe mechanism that sounds when a scheduled scan is missed. 
I don't know what's going on here, but I'm going to the captain as soon as I can find someone to watch my post for a few minutes. And then he gets killed. I don't know, maybe. So that's the resistance, probably. Uh, let's wait for that and let's kill this guy first. And just check it out. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. Okay, never mind. Let's check this. The diagnostic screen shows an overview of automated functions available at this station as well as other terminals across the ship. One option allows for the remote launch of the un of an unmanned mini sub. But this yeah, this functionality can only be engaged from the conning tower according to the description. So that's our escape vehicle, I suppose. Meanwhile, this terminal can display which zones of the ship are occupied and which are not. One dormitory block in the bar barracks is currently disused. I could launch one of these mini-subs as a decoy and then hide out in the empty dorms until... I see. There's a call coming through over the intercom. Okay, and hi, Wiswanathan. Hi, Laika. Wiswanathan, please don't cut me off. I won't. I'm not going to. I need to... I know we can figure out a way to rendezvous if you just listen to me. What if I just found him before I did this? I'm very curious. God, now I want to do that. What if I find him and rendezvous with you and then I go do this? Is he going to be like, oh man, I kind of want to try that now, but eh, maybe I'll try that. I have the backup data. Maybe I'll try that later on or something. Hi. I know it's stuff. What? I know. I know it's how this stuff works. But I trusted you. I trusted you, Wispo Nathan. I know. I know. I'm just re really freak freaked out. It's not okay, and I need to see you because I don't feel good about being kept in the dark. Laika, how much are you keeping me in the dark about? How much else is there? Can you just tell me there is or isn't anything else that's going to surprise me? Laika, we can't do this right now. I'm so sorry, but we really can't. It's not safe either. I'm not safe either. How safe am I? Am I more or less safe than I'm supposed to believe I am? Like all I can tell you now, and you can cut me off again if you... What do you mean? She hasn't been cutting you off. Well, I guess she was, but you were cutting her off and stuff. Dot 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 is that you need a hiding plan, not an escape plan. I know, that's what you're good at too, I guess. What? Yeah, I guess so. You need to fool the Soviets into thinking they've got you pinned down when we get to the Arctic, but you'll be somewhere else. What? I know. I know! How do you know? What? What is happening? How does this dialogue make any fucking sense? Seriously! Don't expect me not to get as good at fooling... What? Okay, don't expect me not to get as good at fooling people as you are. I won't. I can't. That's what fighting is like. You have to get rid of a lot of expectations to fight anything. What? Expectations about yourself, Laika. You fight because you think you know how things should be, and the way things should never includes what should be never includes fighting. You didn't used to talk like that. You used to be so sure. Sorry, Laika. Wiswanathan, wait! What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? I don't understand anything in this game anymore. It's so poorly written. I'm sorry. It's really bad. Really bad. God damn it, it's so frustrating. Ah, okay. Set decoy sub timer. Ah, uh, should I just find Whisper Nathan instead? Hmm. You know, I kind of do want to just... I think I'm going to, just for funsies. I'm gonna say, hold on, maybe I should... Hmm, where's the ne nearest save point? It's like... Back there. Hold on, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do... Nope. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna do... This. And I'm gonna save. And I will be right back. I'm gonna load the backup. And we'll try to confront Wiswanathan first, and then do that. Just to see if it completely breaks the space-time continuum and all that, so... See you in a bit. It's gonna happen. Watch out. Watch out! As I said, that kind of bullshit. I don't like those kind of things. You should... You should not have respawning enemies in your save rooms. That's a terrible idea. So now we're back here, and now I can keep going to this Wispwanathan questline. Which might not even be Wispwanathan. Maybe it's gonna be like, oh no, he's not even here. It's a lie again, or something. But even then, it would be kind of interesting to just see what the hell happens when I go back to do the main quest again then. I don't know, we'll see, I'm just curious. 
probably more curious than I should be, but... Oh, 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 that's not the window. Okay, ow. Taking too much damage, and there's a thing up there. Oh, there we go. Oh god, there's so many things. Holy shit. Holy shit, there's so many things. What the hell is going on in here? Guess I'll reduce all this. Like that. And... I don't actually need to make anything at the moment. Health pack? Sure. And there's probably gonna be more... Fuck, it's so hard to... Oh, right, now I think my brightness is still here? Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's so hard to see your fucking aiming reticle, or reticule, whatever. Ow. Oh god, heal quick. When you're, uh, when the background is this white. Another design flaw, in my opinion. So now, this is something weird. Let's just go in here. I'm just gonna not check out any of the other areas. I'm just gonna go straight for... Holy shit, frame drops. Straight for where I'm supposed to be going. Oh. There she is. It's a trap. We've been expecting you, you mon monstrosity. This ends here. Okay. I'm just gonna do this. Okay. That was very easy. You're dead. You're dead as well. You're dead as well. You're dead as well. Everything is dead. Okay. That was an intense boss fight. Not really, though. And I didn't even get anything for it. Okay, and there's like a billion fucking things. Activate sub-release controls. Okay, inspect terminal. Inspect terminal. Let's inspect this one. Laika, it's Wiswanathan. I rigged this console so it'd activate for you, and left this message here. We can't do this right now. It'd be def different if it were me that you were putting at risk, but all you're doing is endangering yourself. I won't allow it. Stop trying to find me. Oh, I see. Wiswanathan also hid a nano battery behind the terminal. Okay, I see, I see. So that's how they handle that. The text entry field. How... what time is it? Holy shit, it's pretty late. Um... I think I'm just gonna end it off here. I'm actually gonna try something that I don't normally do. Normally I cycle my recordings, just in case of a massive failure or something, but for this one I probably don't even really care. Hmm, maybe I should. I don't know if I should care or not. Oh, I probably should about the audio. I'm gonna tempt fate and I'm gonna do it anyways, so I'm gonna just keep recording. Normally I stop everything, make sure to save everything, and then like back everything up, and then I go for a new episode. But I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna just say thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a little bit for me, and two days for you, or right away maybe if you're watching this later on. I don't even fucking know. See ya!